Hey everyone, Marco here, and I know I haven't made a video in a few months. Mainly it's been the craziness going on in the world. Uh, obviously, I hope all of you are staying safe. Please, you know, wash your hands, stay socially distant from people. Do not help this thing spread. Let's keep it under control and do our part so we can get back to trying to live a normal everyday life. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe, and I definitely appreciate all of your support on the channel. I've been responding to some of your comments over the past couple of months during this pandemic, but things have been crazy here as well, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to devote to making content. But my friends over at TCL decided to reach out and ask if I wanted to review a couple of their devices, their brand new devices. And I obviously said yes, because they are a great company to work with. And here they are. This is the TCL 10L and this is the TCL 10 Pro. These are their entry level or mid range devices. So a TCL 10L is gonna go ahead and go on sale for about 249, I believe, which is a heck of a deal. I mean, you're talking about super budget phone uh, territory, but you're getting a lot of great things with this phone. I mean, it has a Snapdragon 665, it has four cameras, a full HD display, has a macro lens, a 48 megapixel main shooter. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff that comes on this phone and a 4,000 hour milliamp hour battery. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Uh, all in a phone that costs 250 bucks. Um, you really can't get that with any other uh, maker today, especially the mainstream ones. And then obviously the budget phone space has gotten pretty hot recently, mainly because Apple decided to release the iPhone SE2, which is their $400 iPhone that has basically the parts of an iPhone 11 Pro on the inside mixed into a design from the iPhone 8. Uh, but the other phone that they have here from TCL is the 10 Pro. Now this is actually a slightly smaller phone uh, still has a full HD display, but it's AMOLED and it's curved AMOLED. Supports the full HDR10 uh, space. It has a 64 megapixel main shooter along with three other cameras. It has a very impressive night mode capability. Um, and uh, I mean, yeah, these are, I mean, this phone's gonna go on sale for $450. So it's 50 bucks more than that iPhone SE2, but you're getting a much bigger display. You're getting a completely like, you know, almost bezel free display. You get stuff like an in-glass fingerprint sensor. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on this phone that you just won't find in the iPhone for $400. Now, you know, would you pick the iPhone or this? I mean, that's really a personal preference, uh, but we're definitely gonna give these two a look. So let's go ahead and unbox these guys and see what comes inside the boxes and talk about it. All right, so here we have both of these devices. Let's go ahead and just start with the 10L. So let's move the 10 Pro to the side and let's just take a look at the box real quick. So again, 249 starting price for this device. Uh, the specs that are going to be listed here on the box is it has a 6.53 inch full HD LCD panel. It does support HDR, but it's not like an HDR 10 or Dolby uh, standard. It has that 48 megapixel main shooter camera. It has a 16 megapixel front facing camera, supports Bluetooth, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, and that's really it. It's a pretty simple uh, box, pretty simple marketing on the front. Let's get this lid off there we go so first things first we got a sim ejector tool manual and your device we'll open this guy up and see what's inside of here oh look at that okay so tcl throws in a uh, tpu case uh, unfortunately it has some branding on here so um you know it could it could serve you good until you get like a proper case for this device and that's all you get in that little package then you have a manual here that just says display greatness. Oh, that's not in the manual, that's the phone. That looked like a manual, there you go. So here is V10L. So this one, I got it in blue. I believe it does come in other colors as well. So let me peel off this plastic wrap. There we go, I'll just slide the phone out. There we go. Uh, I mean, wow, that's, uh, that is really shiny. Uh, it's a beautiful blue color. You can see that quad camera array in the back, two flash. You have the fingerprint sensor right in the back here, very Nexus, or not Nexus, uh, uh, pixel-like. And then the front here, you got your front-facing camera here on the top left corner. You got your 6.53-inch display. Uh, you got your buttons here on the side. You got your, I guess that's your, not sure what that switch is, probably a smart switch. You got your power button on the right, volume rocker here. This does have Android 10. 
you have USB-C charging microphone and speaker array. And then on the top, look at that. That is a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You don't see very many of those today on any of the new phones. Uh, so let's go ahead and just keep that booting up and then let's take a look at what else is inside the box. You got your USB-C cable um, in here. And then you got your wall wart, which this, I believe, uh, doesn't really say. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, this is, um, try to find you wattage. Where does it say the wattage? I don't think this is a fast charger, just based on the size of the brick. It's five volts, two amps. So that is not a fast charger, at least I don't think so. If I'm wrong, someone can correct me in the comments for sure. So you got that. Uh, so, here we go. So here's what the display looks like. Uh, it's actually really pretty. Obviously you get a little bit more of a bottom chin of the bezel because you have to have the, uh, you know, the driver for the display somewhere. Uh, but overall, I mean, that is a very low, um, you know, like, I mean, that's a high uh, screen to body ratio in terms of, uh, of that ratio. There is a screen protector that's already on here from the factory. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, I mean, overall it's a, pretty looking it's a pretty good looking phone to be completely honest with you for 250 dollars it looks and feels very good i mean it's plastic on the back it's not glass and it does not support um uh, does not support fast charging but i mean overall it's a pretty nice looking device especially in the blue um, so here you go in the back you got the 48 megapixel camera you have a macro lens and then you have i believe um, a, uh, so your macro lens is, I think, five megapixels. I might be wrong on that. I will make sure to leave the specs in the description. But you, but you have the ability to basically focus on things that are like centimeters away, like two centimeters away, which is like crazy to think about. Um, so let's just uh, skip through all of this. Uh, let's just go ahead and actually unbox the 10 Pro because that's also a very nice looking device. So we got here is the uh, 10 Pro. Let's get our trusty knife and let's try to, did I get, nope, the tape. There's uh, there's extra tape on here, so I gotta make sure I'm cutting that as well. So I think I got it on that one. So let's get the knife, put that away and take off the saran wrap. There we go. All right, cool. So, uh, side of this guy, you know, 6.47 inch full HD display. I don't know why they say 6 point, or full HD plus. It is an AMOLED display and it does support that HDR10 standard. That main megapixel shooter is 64 megapixels on the camera, 128 gigabytes of storage, six gigabytes of RAM, uh, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And this phone also supports micro SD card expansion. I believe the, the 10 L as well supports micro SD card expansion. Also something of a rarity that, you know, you really won't find in any phone today from one of the mainstream uh, manufacturers. So unlike the 10 L you are presented with the 10 pro first thing uh, on the box unboxing experience. So let's go ahead and just lift this guy and put it on the side for now. Let's take a look at what else is inside the box. So pretty similar fare. You have a SIM ejector tool, which if I can, there we go, try to get out. And I'm assuming the same thing is gonna be in here, which is a case. And I am correct. You get a TPU case, same case. Obviously that fits this phone instead of the 10L. So you'll get that in the box. You have your USB-C cable to USB-A for charging and data. And then that's a bigger brick, which this one does three amps. So this one will give you fast charging. I believe that gives you roughly 18 watts of fast charging. Unfortunately, on the 10 Pro, you still do not have wireless charging. So that is just not... Uh, an option that you can get on this device. But again, for 450 bucks, I mean, you know, it's kind of, you're already asking for a lot, especially when you're talking about an AMOLED display and just a whole bunch of other stuff that you're not gonna get on a, other, a bunch of other phones. So this, whoa, that is a very nice looking phone. Um, so this definitely does have a metal back because it's very cold to the touch. 
Um, and then again, you have that four camera array on the back, two flash, 64 megapixel main shooter. And then you got a ton of other cameras, macro lenses. You got a night camera, which I believe is two megapixels. Uh, and then your uh, telephoto, which I would have to look up what the spec is on that. Um, again, 6.47 inch display. It is one of those teardrop displays. So you do have a camera cutout right there. Um, you still do have a slight uh, bottom chin. It's kind of hard to see right now because the screen's black. Uh, and as you can tell, the screen is fairly curved. I mean, there's quite a distinctive curve which pushes all these side buttons out to the uh, really far edge of the device. So you may like that, you may not like that. Right side, you have your volume rocker and your, uh, you know, your sleep wake button. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that's a little bit easier to see that bottom chin on this device. On the bottom, you have a USB-C port. You have your SIM, um, you have your SIM tray and your speaker and a microphone. Top here, you have weird an AR uh, blaster and that three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which again is very hard to find on most devices today. So again, this is just my first impressions and unboxing experience video. I can't really tell you what I think about these devices because I haven't used them yet. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take these guys, see the replaces over the next couple of weeks. And then if you do want to see a full review on any of these devices or both of these devices, make sure to hit that like button below. Leave me a comment, ask me a question, and I'll try to get you an answer as quickly as I can. Uh, one thing to note, if I haven't mentioned already, you know, this has a fingerprint sensor on the back. This guy has the fingerprint sensor underneath the display. So for 450 bucks, you're getting a lot of flagship high-end specs on the 10 Pro, uh, which, I mean, that is pretty darn cool. I mean, the iPhones don't even have that today. So that's basically all I got on both these devices for now. Of course, leave me a comment below, like I said, and I'll try to get you an answer as quickly as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay safe, wash those hands, and I'll see you all in the next video.